This is CNBC TV 18 News Now and I'm Chaiti Narula and these are the top stories at this hour. A terror bid has been foiled on board a US bound plane on Christmas Day. A passenger tried to set explosives on board the Northwest Airline flight bound to Detroit from Amsterdam but was immediately subdued by the cabin crew. US intelligence officials say it was an attempt to blow up the plane but the explosive device failed. The man has been identified as Abdul Madalit, a 23-year-old Nigerian. A red alert has been issued by the FBI. Meanwhile, the White House has issued a press release and I quote, President Obama has called for all appropriate measures to be taken to increase security after the incident. Back home, the Telangana agitation continues in Andhra Pradesh. Railway passengers are badly hit after 70 trains were cancelled as protesters damaged railway property during the agitation in Hyderabad. Also, all colleges affiliated to Osmania University will remain shut till January 5 and ag examinations have been postponed. 13 cabinet ministers from the Telangana region have submitted their resignations so far. The Congress, meanwhile, is still desperate to find a middle ground on the issue. On to a CNBC TV 18 exclusive, sources indicate that Reliance Industries has updated its non-binding proposal for Loyndal Basel. CNBC TV 18 learns the revised proposal has a significantly higher cash component and the updated proposal offers cash of 5 to 6 billion dollars. RIL betters the rival cash offer of $2.8 billion from Apollo to backstop rights offer. Loyndal Basel has submitted second reorganization plan. Their strategy is to convert $18 billion debt, senior bridge debt, into equity. Those were the headlines at this hour. Keep watching CNBC TV 18 for more news.